Visual Studio 2026, my first quick impressions of the latest RDE. These impressions will not go into much detail, but will be more focused on the look and feel. One of the main features of this new RDE will be using AI as a co-team member or co-developer. So GitHub Copilot is straight out of the box integrated into Visual Studio 2026. But in this quick first impressions, I'm just going to be focused mostly on the theme and the styling. When installing this new Visual Studio, there's an option to import the previous workloads from Visual Studio 2022. This is very handy, it's a time saver. So for example, if you were working on a much older .NET Framework 4.8, those workloads and those settings uh, can be quickly imported. Now just opening up the new IDE, it does feel very modern and at the very first glance it looks cool. We'll be testing this on a much older .NET Framework Web Forms project. One of the claims that Visual Studio 2026 is making is that it should be much faster when loading large solutions. I couldn't tell much of a difference on this small web application. It actually did feel a little bit slower. But this is keeping in mind Visual Studio can now take advantage of more powerful hardware such as RAM and multi-cores on the CPU. I'm only running 16 gigabytes, but the actual efficient official recommendation is that you should be okay with about 64 gigs of RAM. Now for the look and feel, the default for a number of years has been uh, the dark theme. It looks cool for, you know, for a few minutes, but uh, my preference when working for long hours has always been the, the blue theme with, with, with a dark contrast. On the Solution Explorer, for the folders, solutions, the projects and the files, the font size is a little bit too small. So this can be easily changed. You can just increase it. You could even change the, the font type, simple change to make. But what can't be changed, I, I would have preferred the actual folders themselves on this Solution Explorer. The folders, that I, should, I would have preferred a little bit more contrast and it's not just an outline on the folders. So more coloring and more contrast of colors. On the actual code editor for actual coding, the colors have, do have a great variety, so that's, that's okay. You can tell your code apart. You don't have to do a lot of mental processing when you're coding. So when trying out the other themes, there's not so much of a color contrast, and it does look like most of the effort went in, into just the dark theme. It's understandable, it's, it's fair, because most people are, are just happy with this dark theme. Um, but for me personally, I find it very tiring when using it for long hours. Uh, my eyes get a little bit uncomfortable and I really just prefer the light or the, the just the blue theme or the, the old blue theme or the light theme. Of course, I mean, you can always go to use third party options if you go into the Visual Studio Marketplace. And with a very quick search, I couldn't really find a theme specifically that came that you can import from Visual Studio 2022. So I'm not looking for the 2015 or the 17 one. I really just wanted the light with blue contrast. Um, also with using the third marketplace imports or, or themes, slight worry that sometimes they might actually hang your entire Visual Studio. I'm not sure if I'm going to have to reinstall again. So I would have preferred that it's out of the box, sort of tested by, by, by Microsoft themselves. And overall, the first impressions of the themes and styling, if you're not into the dark theme and you just wanted the old blue with dark contrast from the previous versions of Visual Studio, at the moment there isn't a theme out of the box.